More countries introduce travel restrictions as the new coronavirus variant spreads. The South African president criticizes governments who cut off his country. Now, these restrictions are completely unjustified and unfairly discriminate against our country and our Southern African sister countries. Health ministers from the world's seven leading economies will take part in an emergency meeting on Monday to discuss how to deal with the Omicron variant. How a Kurdish father of three in northern Iraq fears his whole family were among those who drowned in the English Channel. Polls have now closed in presidential and parliamentary elections in Honduras. Officials in the Central American nation had to appeal for calm before people headed out to the ballots. The run-up to the vote had been dominated by concerns about security and the political influence of drug cartels after the incumbent president, Juan Orlando Hernandez, was named as part of a drug trafficking ring by the U.S. Justice Department. Around 62% of voters in Switzerland have backed their government's COVID strategy, including a COVID certificate showing proof of vaccination, recovery or a negative test. Switzerland is currently battling a surge in infections and the certificates are currently needed to access bars, restaurants and football matches. Israel's President Isaac Herzog has lit a candle for the Jewish festival of Hanukkah amid heavy security in the flashpoint city of Hebron in the occupied West Bank. Palestinian officials have condemned his participation in the ceremony at the contested religious shrine known as the Tomb of the Patriarchs to Jews and the Ibrahimi Mosque to Muslims. Doctors treating the Bangladeshi opposition leader Khaled Azia say they fear for her life if she's not allowed to fly abroad for medical care. Ms. Zia, who's leader of the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, has been diagnosed with liver cirrhosis and is in critical care. But she's been barred from traveling abroad after being convicted on corruption charges in 2018. Fiji is to send 50 peacekeepers to the Solomon Islands following three days of unrest. The violence began on Wednesday when protesters stormed Parliament in a bid to topple the Prime Minister. Australia and Papua New Guinea have already sent in peacekeeping forces to the Pacific Island. Now, the biggest banking leak Africa's ever seen has shed light on companies linked to relatives and associates of the former Democratic Republic of Congo president, Joseph Kabila, receiving millions of dollars in public funds. Well, the BBC can now exclusively reveal a presidency account was set up at the bank central to the leak during Kabila's tenure in power. Millions of dollars were transferred through it. Online French investigative journal Mediapart and the NGO Platform to Protect Whistleblowers in Africa obtained the information. And it's been published as part of a consortium coordinated by the European Investigative Collaborations Network. A judicial investigation into any alleged wrongdoing has begun as a result of a government request. Barbados is set to become the world's newest republic when the island nation formally removes the Queen as head of state later. Prince Charles has arrived for the ceremony, which will take place just after midnight tonight, on the 55th anniversary of the country's independence from Britain.